Hey guys, welcome to today's edition of Deadbolt Dragons. Today is a little bit more different. It's going to be an, a special called Quickfire Cosplay. I'm not going to be doing many of these as opposed to my other series. But today I'm going to take you through my Scorpion Cosplay. Get over here! So four years ago Mortal Kombat 9 was released and everything and it introduced new looks for everybody even though it was going back in time and changing the course of Mortal Kombat history completely. And Scorpion, as he always does every game, he got a new fantastic look and at the time because it was a big media blitz by Warner Bros. and NetherRealm Studios, a lot of merchandise started creeping up. And one of the pieces of merchandise was, of course, the official costumes of Scorpion and Sub-Zero that were available for purchase, as well as their swords and everything. I never got um, Scorpion's blades. Um, that'll be a future project if I ever decide to move the cosplay on a bit. And I have, so far, just need the weapons, apart from the kunai. And they released the official costumes. And I got it in my head that I wanted to cosplay Scorpion for a con that I was going for that year. Um, my second ever Alcon. Um, I'll pop the link in the description if you ever want to go. Um, and I got the costume after waiting like a week for it and got it in my house and I realised just how cheap 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 this was hmm. the mask was a full face, like half face mask which I thought was absolutely terrible, it was made completely out of rubbery plastic and it wasn't even completely accurate I mean that if, if they wanted to go completely accurate they would have given you a hood and they didn't do that and that was a missed opportunity the Spike patterns on the top of the sash are all wrong. The belt broke easily, which is why I had to recycle the buckle and put it on a leather belt, which I'll show you when I put the costume on. And the shoulder pads break off easily. The wrist, the arm guards break easily. I'm quite lucky that the shin guards haven't yet. And they are lasting me to this day, and I love it. Um, so yeah, there was a lot wrong with that costume. Some of the things they got absolutely right, and you can actually work from. But if I was going to recommend a Mortal Kombat cosplay, do not buy the official one. Unless you're going to customize it to your own specifications, which is absolutely fine. It's, it's what I did. And if you're on a budget, it's definitely worth looking into. Um, but yeah, official costumes, don't, don't even bother. Um, go get yourself a professional one made. I know it might cost an arm and a leg. It might cost you a hell of a lot of money, but it's definitely way better than getting the official ones for cheap and then realizing, well, you get what you pay for. You pay cheap, you're gonna get cheap. And that's what I didn't understand with this cosplay. I mean, I didn't get anything high quality, so I've had to customise it a little bit. I got myself a balaclava, a motorcyclist balaclava, before you all think I'm a fucking bank robber. Um, cut the ninja mask up to become the half mask, which actually goes as a hood. And gave myself new shoulder pads from a design that I'd been making fan art of Scorpion for years. Colours an old kunai that I got a, a con a few years ago. And yeah, that was about it. And so I customised it to my specifications and it works absolutely swimmingly. So I'm gonna jump crook right now to show you me with the actually with the costume on and show you all the different pieces. 
and then afterwards I'll do the outro and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, so this is my cosplay and everything. Just um, get the belt ready. Yes, this being the licensed Mortal Kombat 9 cosplay for Scorpion. You will have to customize it to get it how you want it. So here's the mask and everything. I would like to get a chin strap just to hold this in place because this is more accurate to the games and everything. And yeah. The gloves are just a pair of cheap goth gloves that I got from a local goth shop. And they suit the cosplay pretty well. Um, buckles missing on each of them which feeds into the overall look of Scorpion customized shoulder pads and I wanted to go for a custom look for one of two reasons one I wanted to do something with a skull design semi-retarded skull design and spikes and the second reason was the stock shoulder pads just weren't working out and they were always ripping and everything and it was very hard to reattach them so I eventually replaced them with this. The shin guards, they're as standard, and the boots are just a pair of worn out new rock boots that I use primarily for cosplay now. I wear a long sleeve t-shirt underneath the cosplay for comfort, as the material has a tendency to make you want to itch, make you want to scratch and itch. The end of the sash is just cardboard, which I've painted silver and everything, and I thought it was a better look than the just painted on look. Now on to the belt. You see, the buckle is from the actual costume. That's standard. I've customized it a little bit. But the other belt is just a simple leather belt from a trench coat that I own that I don't use the belt on. And I've customized that to make it more scorpionly and everything. The Velcro doesn't hot glue well to the leather, so I'm having temporary measures in place for that at the minute. But yeah, that's the belt. Moving on to the mask. This is um, the stock mask, which I've cut up to a finer shape. And it definitely looks way better. Uh, the paint job was a bit dire, so I've tried to correct it, but my gold paint pen kind of ran out of ink by the time it was time to do the other side. So, yeah, but that works really well with this balaclava that I've just cut up for breathing space and everything. As I said, I'll try and get a chin strap put in on this one so it looks more accurate to the games. Now, the kunai. It's just a simple collector's edition plastic kunai that I got at a con a few years ago. And I've just like painted silver, giving it like a cardboard top because the original tip broke off. And I've just attached it with a piece of string. 
if I can replace it with some chain that would be a lot better so yeah that was my scorpion cosplay um, being official it's not that brilliant but if you're going to customize it that might breathe, breathe some new life into it and it definitely breathed some new life into mine with all the custom customization that I did and I still enjoy cosplaying scorpion to this day and I hope those of you who are considering to cosplay scorpion or any of the ninjas from Mortal Kombat just go to a legit cosplay maker don't buy the official costume because the official costume is complete balls unless of course you're going to mod it to your own liking but anyways guys that was the first special because I'm not doing many of these the first special of quickfire cosplay I have been Woofy this has been Deadbolt Dragons and I'll see you in the next video which should be Woofy's Rant episode 2 peace